All right, so I'm gonna give you my ribs recipe, but I'm gonna do you better. Um, since it's Father's Day weekend, I'm going to make a presentation about cooking ribs the way I cook them from step one to step 21. Okay, now don't say any curse words, Robert, while you're doing this. The silver skin on both of these racks was really kind of non-existent and I don't understand why. Usually it's really thick, but I'm going to go ahead and score the bottom of these ribs because there is a little bit of silver skin across. I just can't get a hold of it and pull it off. So I'm just going to score the bottom of both racks with my knife. And what this is going to do is it keeps that silver skin from binding and uh, allows the, the ribs to become more tender. So the rub that I use is not the rub that I used at your place in um, Kansas when we made these the first time, but this is what I use at home. It's Chupacabra rub. Um, it's called brisket magic. It's actually a brisket rub and it's fantastic. And you may find this in your stores, but you may not. I doubt you do. Two Gringos is the name of the it's company that makes Seguin, it. made in I thought. What? I thought it was made in Seguin. Marion. Oh, Marion. Not far from Seguin. So there's the website if you want to order this rub. Two Gringos Chupacabra. I'll do you better. I'm going to go online today. I'm going to order you some of this and send it to your address. Happy Father's Day. So I start with my rub. And I get really liberal with it, like Washington, D.C. liberal. <laughs> How liberal is that, Robert? Like, more liberal than California. Wow. So, um... Very liberal. Now what I'm going to do is flip them and do the same thing on the other side. Now, for my taste, I would just douse this in uh, peppercorn like ground peppercorns but since today I have Sam in the house and of course Holly also I will refrain from using too much peppercorn and just leave the rub as it is but on a normal day since I'm a big fan of peppercorns I would do ground peppercorn as much as I could on top of this before I went on with the olive oil so this is the last step I just put a little bit of olive oil on both of the uh, on the top only. I don't flip them and do this. I just do it on the top. So extra virgin olive oil. That's just regular olive oil. Let me show you something else. And what we'll do now is we're going to take these out to the Traeger. The Traeger is uh, set on the smoke setting. Now I know you, you have a different brand name. But the temperature on this thing on a hot day varies between about 180 and 200 degrees um, on that smoke setting. I think yours can go all the way down to 150. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in with the bones down. And there they are going to be for the next three hours, just like that. So we'll come back in three hours and I'll show you what our next step is. So it's been three hours now. So we got a pretty good smoke on these. So what we're going to do next to get my Pitmaster's Choice foil and my Sweet Baby Rays, and I'm going to wrap these things individually. So what I'm doing now. I've got this basting brush and I'm just basting this sweet baby rays into a thin layer top side and bottom side of the ribs before I wrap them in this foil get out of here you damn flies sons of bitches damn flies are everywhere notice it I gave it a tent-like structure in the wrap. I left an air gap in there, and I'm going to go ahead and close these ends up tight. But I do want a gap inside where 
where there can be an air gap and the foil's not pressing against uh, the rib. So now that we've got our ribs basted and covered in foil, I've got them back in the Traeger. Of course, need to check my pellets and make sure I got plenty of them still in there. I'm at the smoke setting now. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and dial it to 225. And they're gonna go to 225 for at least another two hours. So after two hours, I'm gonna give them a check and uh, I'll end up having to unwrap one of them. So it's been a couple hours now since uh, I put these in wrapped. So I'm gonna grab one of them and uh, we're gonna check and see where we're at before uh, we get too cavalier. We always wanna see that our ribs are finished and the bones sticking out is what we're looking for. We want, we want a lot of bones sticking out. That's my indicator. When these bones are sticking out and they're blackened on the ends, that's an indicator that they're done. You can see it on this side too. So now what I'm gonna do is take these out of the wrapper and then they're gonna, they're gonna go back in here without a wrapper on them to uh, with a little bit more I'm gonna I'm gonna put some more sweet baby rays on them just to glaze on the top and let that caramelize in the heat um, even more bones sticking out so these are what I would consider perfect so what we're gonna do is go ahead and give these a little baste and then get them back on the grill at a little higher temperature so we're not gonna use a whole lot just a little bit of rattlesnake venom we'll get that smoothed out on there because we want this to caramelize and we got to be very careful when we pick this up because there's a high probability they're going to fall apart it's going to be very careful like that one just fell apart that's okay There's spots on here that are pretty blackened. That's amazing. I'd like to see that. But we just glaze that up on the top. So come over here. I've taken my temperature to 350. And I'm gonna sit there for about 15 minutes. But I'm gonna give them a check at 15 minutes and if we've got some caramelization, then great, we'll go ahead and pull them off. These are really caramelized. This is where it ought to be right here. So I had to dial these up. I had to go a little above 350 and get nearly the to ends of those bones. Perfect. That's the way it ought to be right there. Then kind of falling apart now. That's the, Even more so. That's what tells you they're ready to get. They're done. Alright. Oh my god, that's amazing. Wish you were here to have one of these with us, Dad. As I put my hand in here and ask for that. You eat that one. <laughs> Whoa. I'll give that one to you. I'll be the mystery hand. It's a little bit hot. That's amazing. Happy Father's Day. The Gringos Chupacabra is coming your way. I ordered it on Amazon. should be delivered later this week. Love you. Happy Father's Day.